man decapitates himself with a cable in Virginia after getting into a dispute with his ex-wife. He really lost his mind. Literally. Police arrived at a home in Yorktown after receiving a call about a domestic dispute around 10 a.m. They were talking with the ex-wife when deputies saw a white Ford Explorer towing a utility trailer. The trailer was on fire. A man identified as the ex-husband was behind the wheel. Firefighters arrived and authorities attempted to get the man to exit the SUV. That's when they noticed a cable tied to a nearby tree was wrapped around his neck. Officers pleaded with the man to surrender, but instead he hit the gas. He was pulled from the vehicle and his head was yanked clean from his body. The vehicle continued moving for about 150 yards. Whoa, <laughs> headless driver. According to local authorities, no one has ever heard of anything like this. They said it was a really bizarre incident. Authorities did not release the man's name because his death was ruled a suicide. Well, no, duh. Talk about losing your head. This is from the Associated Press. Woman arrested for visiting man through a suitcase. Portland, Oregon. Police say a 50-year-old woman is in trouble because of her baggage. But it's not the emotional kind. Cola J. McGrath was arrested Monday for trespassing after workers at her boyfriend's downtown apartment discovered the man was sneaking her into the building by hiding her in a large rolling suitcase. She was banned from the building last year for breaking a fire extinguisher case during an argument. So I bet you wonder how she was able to fit in a suitcase? Well, McGrath is 5 feet 6 inches tall and weighs a paltry 96 pounds. Police were notified when a caller reported a man had kidnapped a woman, placed her in a pink suitcase, and taken her into the apartment building. Officers searched Curtis T. Lowe's apartment and found McGrath hiding in a closet. Yeah, what do you think? It tastes really good. <laughs> that's what she said. That's what she said. Well, that's not what she says in this next story. So this is from Yahoo Odd News. A 63-year-old Korean woman who was dining on boiled squid discovered that sperm from the squid had painfully stuck to her tongue and cheeks. The Squid A Day website reported that the woman experienced severe pain in her mouth after biting into the squid. Needless to say, she did not swallow the squid, but spat it out immediately. Shit, I would too. She complained of a pricking and foreign body sensation in her mouth. Well, that's what I always say. Twelve small white spindle-shaped bug-like organisms were stuck in the mucous membrane of her tongue, cheeks, and gums. They were removed and upon further testing were found to be the actual squid spermatophores. Say that with me. Spermatophores. So guys, thanks for watching another episode of TTS, The Templeman Show. We hope you enjoyed it and definitely... What you doing? Um, trying to close her. Got any tops? <laughs> Da, da, da. Okay. Cola J. McGrath was arrested Monday for trespassing after workers found her. Fuck a duck. Found her fucking duck. Found her fucking a duck. Yeehaw! Just kidding. <laughs>